G'day folks, Corey Hind here. I hope you're doing really well talking about Google Business Profile, Google winning on Google. So people ask me all the time, what are the updates, what are the new ideas, what are the things I need to do to rank better locally? And sometimes I believe it's really important to go right back to the beginning and go back to first principles around Google. And that simply is to listen to what Google is telling us. So last week, I was talking to some people about the experience factor. So Google told us to add reviews and things to our social media and our website imprint. So people trust us and they can see that you're a good business. So start using those testimonials and reviews. This week, there's something I've noticed which is new to Google Business Profile. Now, you can see my screen here. Now, we need to listen to Google. They give us clear instructions often about what they want to see so that if you follow their clear instructions and people like me interpret that for you, then usually you'll rank better locally or worldwide, depends on what your goal is. If your goal is local SEO and a big part of that is Google Business Profile, you need to listen to Google. So when you go to your dashboard for Google Business Profile, which looks like this, you've seen all this stuff before. We've got a little information panel over here. This is your, your dashboard. And you'll go around it and look at different things. So what you need to do down the bottom here is pay attention to what they're suggesting that you do. Now, this one here, add a map to your website. This is a new suggestion. Now, people like myself have known this for a long time. You want to embed your Google Maps onto your website. We want the website and the Google Business Profile to work together to send strong signals to Google about your business and where you are. Now, when you should log on to this dashboard at least every week or so to check for messages you've missed or reviews to reply to, maybe pop some more questions in there, maybe an offer, but this is new. So Google is saying, hey, we wanna help you add a map to your website. So hopefully you've already done this. A lot of businesses have not. It gets a bit tricky, but they're saying to us explicitly, add a map to your website. And when you click on this, it'll take you to a, a little mini site that will assist you in adding the map to your website. Now, the reason I'm not gonna do this is because for most of you, I don't think you'll be able to do it yourself. Just being honest, I don't think you'll be able to do this yourself. But what you should do is talk to your website developer, the person who looks after your website and the updates and probably hosts your website for you and say, hey, that dude on YouTube said I need to get a map, my Google Maps onto my website and get them a login to your Google Business Profile so they can log on to your dashboard as well, business.google.com and get them to send them a screenshot of this and say, hey, I want you to click down here and sort out this website on my, this map on my website that this guy's talking about because it's been a known thing for quite some time, but now Google has really let the kid out of the bag and said, hey guys, we're gonna put it down here because we want you to see it and we want you to do it. So Google's always looking to give us the best practice things to do. And they're now clearly saying, get the map on your website. We'll talk more about other things that they suggest, but you should always check down here for things. You know, last week we talked about those reviews getting on there and there's a few widgets and ways to do that. But right now Google is saying, hey, click here, do this. So if you haven't done it, then I suggest you talk to your developer and get it done. You might be able to do this yourself if you're pretty savvy with website building, head in there, click on that button and It'll, if you're on the machine that you use for your website, you, you might be able to figure that out yourself. But it's something that you should definitely consider doing at the moment because Google gives us these instructions. Uh, we're mad not to follow them, especially if you're languishing and you've got competition in front of you. You always want to pay attention to these suggestions. And if you click on these buttons here, it'll get you to scroll around. And we've got custom email. You should have custom email, you know, Corey at you know, your website name rather than a Gmail address. But get onto this one, guys. It's really useful. Uh, it looks good. It helps people to find your business. It makes you look authentic. And Google is telling us right now, we want you to do this. So get onto it and hopefully you get that done soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you do subscribe and hopefully I'll get to talk to you soon. Bye for now.